Hi guys and welcome back again to my channel. So today guys is our, our topic is how to create a dynamic lux for electrical cable tray or cable tray. So for your information guys, cable trays are mechanical support systems that provide a rigid structural system for electrical cables, raceway, insulating conductors used for electric power distribution, control signals, instrumentation, and communication. So now we know what is the use of the cable tray. So before we start guys, I would like to say don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell so that you will be aware for my next video. So now let's start. So guys, you can see this one. This is the top view. So this is the cable tray. So this is not yet uh, black. So we'll block it later, okay? So this is, if you make section this cable tray, it will look like this, okay? This is the tray. And this is the yellow one is the cable one. So if you have no idea what is cable tray, so if you make this one section like this, if you know how to read the section, it look like this, okay? Okay, if you want to see section or front view like that, okay? So we start. So how to make dynamic blocks for cable tray? So we just make for this one an example. So we just check the size. Maybe this is uh, 300, okay? So we just make it 300. So, okay, we start. So I will make it a block. So block, okay, type B. So I make it a CT or... Oh. That was I make it 300 by 100. Okay, so the, it, this is the size of your cable tray, guys. So we just make it black, select point. Okay, so our cable tray is black. Okay, so what we have to do is you do right click black editor. So we are now in black editor. So we make it a uh, dynamic block, so this one will be stretchable to the right, and this one is stretchable to the left, so that it's easy to lay out in AutoCAD. So, what we have to do, we go to the parameters itself, click the parameters, okay, click the linear one. So, you click here. Guys, uh, take note, if you click from here to here, so your big uh, point or grab point, I think, is from here, so it's better to put it in the center, okay? So from here to here, okay, so distance. Then after that one, uh, you go to action, okay, you click in the stretch, then select distance, okay, then on this one, okay, so triangle, blue, select, okay, enter. Okay, then if you want to do the other part, the left part, so do it again, stretch, okay, distance, okay, so from here, okay, then select, then enter. So, you have see guys, you have two uh, cable tree stretchable, both left and right, you can see it here, okay, so close editor then click close editor okay save so when you save you can check this one here see if you put the uh, distance from here above guys this uh grab will be put it here so it's better to put in the center grab or pick up for me i call it pick up okay so from here stretch see stretch now you can easy now how to lay out cable tree is in the best way in your layout uh, architectural plan like that so see example this one okay see oh it's easy guys okay this is how to make simple dynamic blocks for electrical cable tray so so let's try this one okay so what we did is we just make it a black Okay, so B, T. I just read, uh, name it uh, T, O, F, for P things, okay? P things, connectors, like that. So, that is like, okay, that's 300 by 100, okay? So, 
Oh, by the way, guys, ah, you are wondering what is the one I make the mention 300 by 100. So, we go in the section, this one. So, see, this one 300 right, ah? Oh, wait, wait. Okay, that's it. So, this is your keyboard tray, 300. We go in the section like this. And the 100 is this one. Okay. Oh, see? 100. Okay. So, that you will know. <laughs> So now we try this one. So we go to the black editor. Okay. And then we do the same as the one we did the first time. So we go to parameters. Okay. Click linear. Okay. This one. This one also linear. Okay. Then make action so one by one. Click this one. So click this one. Then select. Okay. Then enter. Then the next one stretch. Click. Select, oh wait, then do it again, okay? Undo, stretch, okay, select, then enter, okay, next, save my procedure, distance, click. Oh, wait. Um, stretch. Okay. Enter. Close. Okay, then it just check. Okay. Now it's easy, guys. So just put it here. Wait, wait. So for this one, P things uh, we do also the same guys. But uh, I will let you do this one. So make practice at home. So I will just make a layout to for this one to this cable tray going to the electrical room so that you can see our what we make the other black speedish. Okay. So I will just make it black this one. CT. I don't. I put it P three. Uh, 300 by 100 okay okay so I'll just uh, show you how the cable tree connected going to the electrical room so okay so we have already here so just rotate this one okay Put it here, anywhere here. Okay, okay this one. This one. See, it's easy now to make. Let's so make it uh, shorter. Just drag. Okay. Now, 
you can see a full layout of cable tray going to electrical room so so guys uh today's topics up to now finish so until the next video i hope you will support me and god bless and bye bye